In this video, I'll quickly show you how to draw a double helix DNA in Adobe Illustrator. All you need is a rectangle and a circle. So first, let's create a rectangle. The width and length ratio should be 1 to 4. Here I use 10 times 14 millimeters. Let's make it dark blue. And next, you need to create a circle. The diameter of the circle needs to be twice of the width of the rectangle. So here it will be 20 millimeters. Let's make it yellow. Then the third shape you need is a square. And the edge of the square should be as long as the width. So here I have a 10 times 10 millimeter square. Let's make it red. You need to put your circle on top of the square, like so and use a line tool to make sure the edges are perfectly aligned. Once you make sure they're aligned, go to Pathfinder tools and click on minus front. And you'll get this triangle with a grooved edge. Then duplicate this triangle and place it on the four corners of the rectangle like so. You will need to rotate the lower triangles with a 100 80 degree rotation. Okay, then make sure they are aligned with the rectangle. Then we need to select the rectangles along with the two triangles that are covering the rectangles. Once they're all selected, click minus front. Then select the other two triangles and also this new shape that it created then click union then you'll get this s shape component the next thing you'll need to do is to shear this s shape to do that let's go to shear tool over here double click on it and then shear this shape for 60 degree then duplicate this shape Then make one of the duplication in a lighter color, then reflect it. And after you're done, uh, place this mirrored S on top of the darker one. Now you have a single strain DNA unit. Select both of them, group it, then duplicate it. You'll get the double helix unit. So normally I'll use the circle to check if I'm placing them uh, in the proper distance. Once you make sure they're in a good distance, group them into a, a unit and then you get the basic unit for creating a double helix. So the final thing you need to do is just to uh, duplicate it and place uh, the units on top of each other's. Then you can create a double helix DNA for as long as you want. That's how you create a double strain DNA in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, if you find this tutorial helpful, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Also, if there is any biomedical structures that you would like to learn to draw, I welcome to comment below and let me know. I'll make tutorials for you. Thank you for watching Draw Bell Mad, and I wish you all happy drawing.